A tiny community in southwest Iowa is dealing with one of the largest hits in the storm on Friday. Today, a first-hand look at the destruction left behind. Minden has a population of just 600, but somehow a tornado found that spot on the map and tried to wipe it out. 6 News John Chapman reports of the morning of a resident, along with the hard work to clean up and bounce back. Moving through the town of Minden, Iowa, it's tough to figure out where to begin cleaning up. Destruction is everywhere you look. Almost nothing was spared. All of a sudden, the house lifted up off the foundation and crashed back down. Sherry Ingram has lived in this 120-year-old house for only one year. You can see where it's coming off of the found. It had come off the foundation, and it's still shifting. This pillar here is leaning more and more towards the street. All the walls are cracked. All the windows are gone. We haven't had an adjuster out yet. I've talked to him. Only a few trees down at Raymond Arnold's house. Right now, he's feeling guilty because of the direction the winds took the tornado. The thing I don't understand is that everything we've got is good and we should just guilty. It's unbelievable. Sarah Arnold will have to stay with her parents for a while. The tornado was not as kind to her home, but she's grateful for what the storm left them. We were very fortunate though, like our roof over our garage stayed intact, so our cars were okay. And the roof over, or the ceiling over our closet stayed intact, so we were able to get a lot of our clothing and things out of our house, so we're very, very blessed. Sarah tells us Minden is also blessed. A lot of volunteer help is coming from within the community. Sarah's roots run deep here, and looking at all these people providing all of this help, she tells us is nothing new. I mean, my great great grandparents settled here when they built the town, essentially. So um, it's devastating, but it doesn't surprise me at all. Like the rallying of everybody coming together and neighbors just helping each other, like that's nothing new for our community at all. Like that's just how we live day to day, basically. On your side in Minden, Iowa. I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Town officials in Minden say right now they do not need outside volunteers. They say the town is just too small for all the people who want to come and help. A special fund is being set up to help the town. That process will be announced in the coming days. Right now, if you do want to help out, you can donate to Southwest Iowa Emergency Relief Fund. We've linked that on this story at WWT.com.